here's a fun bit of information for you guys. I already did this video. This video has already been done. The only reason why I'm redoing the video is because my older channel was taken down. So, I'm redoing this one because I started the series out of my own curiosity of what it was. Now, funny enough, in the previous video, when I recorded this already, um, the prologue, which is this, would always pop up whenever you started the game. It always pops up. However, if you've beaten the prologue to completion, you've handled the entirety of the prologue, it will no longer pop up. The game will just show up to the regular menu screen. So my question is, what was the point of putting the prologue, making it so that way the prologue would always pop up? If I have no major interest in the prologue, why would exactly would you constantly make it pop up in the... Yeah. <sighs> Whatever, it doesn't really matter. Something that kind of annoyed me when I was going through it, you know, when I was testing recordings and whatnot, when I first started doing this game. But anywho, an adventurer is one who gets, who goes where there's danger, takes on jobs, others are terrified of, and braves deadly battles. Essentially, they risk their lives. But they're not idiots. They expect to be well compensated for what they do, in fame and fortune. You don't get, you don't get those from a 9 to 5, so... Uh, some go after them at the risk of life and limb. You could argue that, yes, you actually can get a good amount of money from a 9 to 5 job, but it depends on exactly what the job is, and it actually might not necessarily be 9 to 5. It might be like 9 to 12 or some random bullshit. And not PM, I'm talking AM, motherfucker. 12 in the morning, next day, that type of shit. Anyway, um... And there's a certain place where adventurers go, a place full of labyrinth dungeons, and also, not even, not even like a 9 to fucking 12 a.m. type situation. If you work at a factory, you could get a pretty damn good amount of money, because, you know, you could die or lose a limb pretty easily in a factory. Anyway, it's called the Forest of the Overlord. Despite the name, nobody was sure if the Overlord was actually here until just recently. You just call it the Forest of, o of the Overlord because it sounded cool. There were rumors about it because of how many demons there were and how dangerous they were. That's how it's got its name. See? It sounded cool, and there were demons in it. Let's call it the Forest of the Overlord. But it was only a few months ago that a few brave adventurers found the Overlord. A terrifying devil hidden away deep in the dungeon. The people living around the forest trembled in fear even more adventurers seeking fame and fortune came. I was one of them. The entire dungeon, from what I can tell, is this entire little circle area. Um, it looks like it's trees, but this looks like an entire, this looks like a cavern, rather than, you know, a freaking forest. I can't necessarily tell because the textures on it are kind of weird. I'm pretty sure those are not trees, because that doesn't look like trees. And if that were trees, then why exactly is that, no, 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 never mind, it's a freaking cavern, right? That's exactly what it look, looks like. I'm pretty sure it's a cavern. Anyway, whatever the hell type of kingdom that is, the Trialers Kingdom, the Triass Kingdom, who cares, where the forest is located off with a huge reward for the Overlord's head. I joined up with the party and we went after them. Why we're killing the Overlord? Who cares? It's Overlord. Kill it. It's evil. Obviously. Totally evil. It was long and hard, but we didn't give up. We were battered and bruised on the, on the edge of defeat, but always persevered. In the end, we were lucky enough to stand before the Overlord. Deep within the dungeon, an oddly clean pla platial, platial, yeah, who cares? Room, we found them. The Overlord. Shockingly, it was a woman. But there was no doubt that it was her. We had never seen her before, but we knew she was the Overlord, and we fought her. And that's the last thing I remember, because you know, I died. I mean, what else could it be? I don't know, I just faded to black for some random reason and you popped up, so I guess I'm all okay. I'm, you know, pretty okay. Mostly dead. My head's pounding and I can barely move. What's going on? My whole body feels broken. Being mostly dead or waking up randomly on the floor with a hot chick standing over me. I can ho I hope it's the latter. Please let it be the latter. I only realize after I answer, it's the Overlord. Aya! So I look for my weapon, but it's gone. 
My equipment's in ruins and my arm is in pieces. I only have the clothes on my back and even those only barely. So, I'm your captive. Then, what am I? Oh, yeah, I, I just asked that. Isn't that kind of the same thing? Only difference is I have more freedom as a minion? I don't get it. When did I agree to that? No one said that. Why do you jump to conclusions like that? Then you're saying... Okay. Why? That's not how that works, but alright. Why, exactly? No, I just want to know why you brought me back to life. I'm a guy who tried to kill you. I literally came to- I literally came here, in front of you, with a sword, ready to stab you. Why did you revive me? Who wouldn't? It's obvious how I died. She killed me. What? No. Oh, okay. That, once again, jumping to conclusions here. Anyway, I'm sorry. She raised her arm, but I fall to my knees and beg. All my equipment is gone. I have no chance against her now. You didn't have one before. <laughs> I prefer the straightforward is a very weird sentence. Ma'am, let's go kill those filthy humans. Yeah! Filthy humans? Oh. Can I? Can I still go kill the filthy humans, or am I just gonna sit here? And that's not what you want? You've never played Descare, have you? Pretty sure all of them enjoy destruction and slaughter. All of them but maybe Mao. And the vampire guy from 4. And also, uh... His name, his name's not Axel. Axel is the dude who freaking, you know, rocks out on the guitar. The loser who rocks out on the guitar. Probably one of my favorite characters. Uh, the other guy from 2. What was his name? Adele? I think his name was Adele. I keep forgetting his name, and he's my favorite main character from the Disgaea series. Pretty sure his name is Nick, uh, Adele, though. He doesn't like slaughter. Are you? Pretty sure Toot and Two don't really have much to do with each other. Yes, my lady, no one can match your kindness. So as I was walking up, she was concerned about how I felt. Is there something wrong with me? I'd fight if I could. Well, the reason I bit it is because I broke in here to kill you. And I can't just waltz out of here after you brought me back to life, so how can I say no? You could, but she'd probably just kill you again. Humans have always dreamed of bringing the dead back to life, but it's impossible. Watch Full Metal Alchemist for a full review of how this happens, and what happens when you do it. Well, I should say the first one probably be the more accurate one for that. The second one is more so about revenge and a bunch of other random shit. Really cool, too. And luckily, I don't have any king or country that I owe my loyalty to either. Then I'll be your minion. Mainly because I have nothing better to do with my time. See, this is why I kind of have a little bit of an issue with. You just told me that you brought me back to life. That's not, you know, that's what revival is. If you're saying that you revived me, that means I died and you brought me back to life. 
what you did was heal me, milady. You healed me. You know, there's a difference between reviving and healing. Huh? Okay, understandable. Why did you heal me? That's understandable. I completely understand that. Why did you heal me? You know, that, that's a pretty big part of this entire thing right now. Why exactly would you heal me? I tried to stab you, remember? Had a pointy sword and everything. Probably came in here flailing around like a moron. Why are you telling me this? I don't get it. What's the difference? Yeah, now I see the difference. Huh? She asked again. My headache's gone, and I do feel sluggish. But, you keep asking that. Is there something wrong with me? Sounds sexy. Um. Huh? That's fine. So, what did you do to me? Makes it sound like you cut off my arms or something. I won't get mad. Yeah, why would I get mad about becoming younger? I check myself again. And this is me. Apparently, if we're gonna take anything from, you know, the previous pictures that we've had before, he was the one who was standing in the middle with the sword and the red headband. Apparently, I'm gonna assume that was him. This is how he looks now. Kinda douchey, if you ask me. Kinda like one of those Final Fantasy XV dudes. A little bit douchey. Meh. Yeah. Anyway, I'm definitely at least a decade younger. Why would I be mad? This is incredible. I've only ever heard of useful story magic. Since women dream of it, there's been a ton of research, but I've never actually heard of it working. If you've ever watched Naruto, Tsunade is the best answer for you. Although Tsunade is using a bunch of random tree magic, so I can't really say exactly what that's all about. It's not tree magic, it's totally something else, it's called the Sanin Chakra, blah 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 blah, it's tree magic. Alright, it's tree magic. That's exactly what she is, she's tree mage. Get over it. So is, uh, freaking Sakura. She's a tree mage too. What's she mean? You've got to be shitting me. For those who are wondering exactly what this means, if you ever played a Tales of game, or more specifically, if you've played Tales of Kilia 1 and or Tales of the Abyss, it's basically that. You know, when Jade and Mila first show up and they're all badasses, you know, they're at like over 800 and they're just doing a bunch of random shit. You know, Mila's summoning the four spirits and beating a lot of ass and Jade has all of his magic, you know, shooting motherfuckers with bubbles and shit. Yeah, you know how awesome that is? Remember how that, you know what happens like, you know, about five minutes after they're introduced? Yeah, that. That's exactly what happened to you. You were completely overpowered, they show you exactly how overpowered you are. And then they said, eh, we're just gonna take that away. You don't need that. This is exactly what these people have done. Pretty sure there are other games that have done it. But, you know, the Tales of series is the one that comes to mind the most when it happens. This is always bullshit. So, thank you. I guess. What, there's more? The 
something else, I concentrate on my body. I'm definitely younger. I'm right back to how I was when I first became an adventurer. Hmm. Hmm. My nose is bleeding. Huh? And my dick is dropping in pain. Basically, we have an unyielding libido now because of her healing us. So we've become younger, but we also need to constantly have sex. And or constantly jack off, one of the two. But I think sex is the best answer. I don't know if it is the best answer. Definitely the one that's not as lonely. You know, just playing pocket pool in the freaking in your bedroom all day. You know, I don't think you want to do all that. And I can't breathe. Basically, what this game is telling me is if I don't jack off, I'll die. There was a manga about this, but I think it was the opposite. It was called My Balls, I'm pretty sure. Weird shit happened in that manga. What did you do? What's going to happen to me? Huh? Once again, if you ever read the manga My Balls, if you haven't, basically what happens in that manga is the main character, I think he either gets enchanted, something happens either with a succubus or some type of witch, I don't completely remember what happens, but basically his balls end up getting enchanted by some type of weird magic, and if he ever comes at any point in time, the world will be destroyed or something along those effects. This guy has the opposite of that, where if he doesn't, where if he doesn't come at some point in time, he will just, from the looks of it, die. Seems he'll go through some type of random withdrawal. Because that's what it seemed like, or what was being described, you know, when he was aching in pain and whatnot. Anyway, the human's here. Hello, human. I've seen her before. I've never spoken to her myself, but I heard that she was a talented swordsman, and we ran into each other a few times in dungeons. Her name was... Aisha? Aisha? Nah, that doesn't sound right either. I'm pretty sure the people with her called her Sia at any rate. The demon throws her in front of me and leaves. She's awake. But it doesn't look like she can move. Did they poison her? I'm worried about her, but I'm in no condition to help. Yeah, that's a random ass, you know thing to just tell your new minion, hey, here's a random chick, fuck her. What? Yeah, that would be my reaction. There are probably other ways of doing it, you know, maybe I could learn how to do a Kamehameha or something, but no, just, just go ahead and bust a nut. Fear appears on Shia's face. Well, it's no surprise. If she understands what's going on here, she knows that I can't say no. She might even recognize me too. That would just make it worse. But I choke back the pain. I choose who I fuck, not you. I don't care if you order me or not. Magic surges around her and she raises her hand towards you. What is with you and just automatically deciding to kill people? Do you not have some type of block and like, oh, hey, well, maybe she can become, maybe she'll become your minion. You don't know. You could probably do the exact same thing with her. But no, let's just murder her. You know, let, murder is totally easier. Actually, it definitely would be easier. Murder, murder, murder. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I stop her. I said I choose who I fuck. And I'm not going to die, and I'm not going to do it because someone else told me. I'm going to do it because I want to. Probably didn't know. I feel like I'm going to explode. But I love fucking women. That's a weird thing to just randomly tell your new master, but alright. Like you need to really make that distinction. I guess you kind of do. Because maybe she thought you were gay or something. I, I don't know. Either way, here comes a rape scene. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. And I'll see you guys when they're done doing it. Alrighty, I'm back. Also, this reminds me if I downloaded the patch for Endless Summer, or Everlasting Summer, I should say. I wonder if I downloaded the patch so that way I could get the sex scenes or not. I don't think I did. Probably should at some point. 
Either way, uh, there's a wide canal in the way, but she walks over it effort effortlessly as if she was walking on air. That canal was a major obstacle when we attacked. By the way, he's still fucking it right now. He, he hasn't stopped. He's still going. Anywho, there's no bridge. No way across. It's not D, but you can't go through it without getting bogged down and soaked. What's more, it makes you vulnerable to lightning magic. It's one of those traps protecting her. I think about that while continuing to see. Told you he's still fucking her. Also, it doesn't it doesn't look that bad. You might be able to jump across it if you're lucky. But if you do, she might just blast you with magic. Hello, phone. Hey, this happened with the previous video as well. Alrighty, I'm back. So I think about that while continuing to fuck she like she said. Okay. So I pay attention while I continue violating Shia. Alright, sorry. I had to leave again. Anyway, uh, was she talking about function as a minion? Um, you, I know. You told me that I was your minion. Like, how many minutes ago? Okay. Meaning... Alright. So, I'll be playing the role of one of the demons that I've spent my life as an adventurer killing. She snaps her finger. The same woman who brought Shia comes back. She turns to Meryl. Alright, so I have to bow into the overlord. She glares at me. Oh. Okay. Random hatred. I'll take it. I don't think she's a fan. Fine by me. Overlord, she needs a good fucking too. Mel flinches and falls back and snap. Well, I am fucking someone in front of her. Yeah, kinda bad. Probably adds some weight to it. Definitely does. Just kidding. I've still got this one. I'm fine with keeping her. And that's number like three. I have gotten the green light. I'm gonna consider that to be the green light at least. She gives a weary sigh and continues. Yeah. Okay. That goes without saying. Got it. What's the other? No, oh, well, thanks for shitting on my day. Is that an invitation? <laughs> that's an invitation. That that's totally an invitation. Oh well, it's consort, huh? I never thought about it, but this is an interesting idea. I wonder what she'd be like with a man between her legs. Even though I'm still inside Shia, that gets my dick's attention. Just harder, and as I think about it. Yeah, that's fine with me. Then I'll get stronger, and then... Hold on, have you told me your name? Now that I think about it, I don't know my new master's name. I'll become stronger and serve Rosalote, my overlord, at her side. You don't know? Darks. Darks, the adventurer dies. And Darks, the minion of the Lord, is born. Yay! I am now the minion of 
this really hot chick. Hello, people of the world, I am Personified Fear. I had to restart this, because, you know, O-Channel's dead. But hey, this is back at least, and once again, I'm going to be going through it. So, ladies and gents, this is Funny Black. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you guys next time.